It's been two years since Sunday liquor sales became legal in Minnesota. Now there's a push for another major change. Republican State Senator Karen Housley of St. Mary's Point will be proposing in the next legislative session a bill that would allow full strength beer and wine sales in convenience stores and grocery stores. And Republican Senator Karen Housley joins us now. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me, Esme. Before we get to wine and beer, let's talk about the bonding proposals. We just heard from the governor. I know that you spoke with Senator Sendrum, who's obviously in the leadership. Is this too much money to borrow and spend on projects around the state? I'm sure you have projects you'd like to see in your district. I do. I do have a very big project in my district, uh, Highway 36, that okay. goes the bridge that goes to Wisconsin, the new bridge. Uh, Highway 36 now is having a lot of accidents because there's that much more traffic that's happening. So uh, we've got Highway 36 in Manning that I'm going to have the Senate Bonding Committee out to see, and it and it is it's really that's important. A, well, that's a big deal. A lot it's of a people big deal. Use that. Yes. And the infrastructure throughout the state of Minnesota is important to us. So, so we are traveling the state and, and making sure that we can help cities and municipalities, whatever their priorities are when it comes to their roads, bridges, uh, state-run um, educational institutions. So we really are uh, uh, looking at everything and finding out, you know, where can we spend this money. But there's a limit, you know. We already have the biggest budget in state history. Uh, how much is too much? I know the governor wants a $2 billion bonding bill. Uh, we're looking more, a lot less than that. So What's a lot? <laughs> you want to pinpoint me on a number. Well, well I, you I know, we're, and we'll probably go in somewhere around a billion. Uh, the last ones okay. were 850 and 950, so. Our, start, our starting point will probably be around a billion, but uh, it, these projects are important to these communities, and we are listening. So we we will Senator Sengem and his bonding committee will look at them all and we'll weigh it all out. But making sure that our roads and bridges and our infrastructure are, are in good shape is a top priority. All right, let me ask you about your proposal that would allow uh, sales of real beer, as I call yeah. it, and also wine in convenience stores and supermarkets, something that exists in almost every other state. Yeah, this, uh, and a little bit of uh, background on it, uh, this is an old antiquated law that goes back to Prohibition era that says our grocery stores and our convenience stores are only allowed to sell 3.2 percent beer. Well, when Minnesota passed Sunday sales, so you could buy real beer in the liquor store on Sundays, nobody was going to the gas stations anymore to pick up the, the near beer. So, near beer, there you go. Near beer. So they've, they've lost a whole product. Uh, and not only that, the manufacturers, the Coors and the Millers, all of those are, Minnesota is the only state in the country that still mandates this 3.2% beer. So the manufacturers are like, you know what, it's too expensive for us to even make it. We're not going to make it just for Minnesota. So they're now pulling out of the 3-2 beer business. So the grocery stores and the gas stations don't even have a product anymore. So my beer, my beer, 3-2 beer bill will allow them to sell beer, strong beer and wine in their, in their stores. Okay. And I know you're a small business person, but there are a lot of small mom and pop liquor stores that are worried about the impact this would have on their business and they're against this. Um, and 39 other states have passed this. They do sell beer and wine in their grocery stores and they're able to coexist along with the liquor stores in those states. Uh, it, we don't like change. Anytime there's a law, a new law proposal, there's always some groups that come up and, and are nervous about it. But we now have pharmacies in our grocery stores, florists, we have uh, coffee shops in our grocery stores. Grocery stores have had to evolve. You know, they're competing with the Sam's Clubs, the Costco's, the Target superstores. Uh, and now Amazon, online grocery shopping, you can get your groceries in, in two hours. So they have, they have to continue to compete mm -hmm. in the free market, which is what we're all about. We want free market competition for our, for our stores and our businesses. And, and you have a lot of Republicans lined up with you, do you think? I have Republicans and Democrats. When it comes to the convenience of being able to pick up a bottle of wine in your grocery store, there's no, no party designation behind that everybody supports it suddenly bipartisanship bipartisanship okay. when it comes to a glass of wine okay well senator karen housley thank you so much for your time this morning thanks esme right.